Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matty J Play some more PGA Tour 2K23. It's Monday morning, and that means it's your weekly walkthrough from the TGT Tours Challenge Circuit. This week it is the British Caddy Shack Open, as we are coming up to the British Open. We had the Scottish Open over the weekend. You are playing Barry Linden by Q. I'm hoping that's a reference to Star Trek, the Q Imperium. But let's see what this course is all about that you're playing this week. Barry Linden is a par 72. 18 holes, only one tee and one pin this week. Red and four. Um, so that's interesting. You're going to be playing at the same pins on every round. Interesting. Didn't think TGC did that. Default conditions are soft, firm, medium, fast, clear, and dusk. So let's see what we are playing in round one. Obviously from the red tees. Somehow they've locked at the pin set one when it said Oh no, there's four pins. <laughs> I'm trying to come this only... <laughs> You're dumpty. Uh, but it did seem like there was only a pin set four. Anyway, playing pin set one, medium winds, south direction, very firm fairways, very firm greens, moderate green speeds. So these balls are going to bounce and roll. But let's get out there on the Barry Linden. I'm sure when it says, oh no, pins, four pins, yeah. I'm just going to lally. It is a Monday morning. It is early. I tried to film this before work. So let's go. Let's get out there. Barry Lyndon by Q. I'm hoping he has been inspired by Star Trek. Great character he was from that series. Seen quite a few of these walkthroughs pop up over the weekend on my feed. Quite a few other YouTubers jump on the bandwagon and doing challenge circuit walkthroughs. I hope you guys stick with me, but there are some quality players out there also showing you around and talking you through the course. And they are worthwhile checking out. Competition is fair game in my eyes, but your opening hole is a par five. Low winds, four mile per hour. you got this little valley you want to land in, so I'm going to try and carry this. Yeah, it is uphill, so you've got to be careful. Likely his it'll bounce off this. But just aim a little bit further left. A bit of loft on it. Holy, you just and try and hit a sweet drive into the little gully. To you as you Gonna have an uphill stance on your next shot if you follow suit. Okay, 225 so in, up 10 feet. I got a 218. I think I'm going to play the 218. It might roll back off this green, but... Might not even get there. Do you know what? Playing the 230, guys. Playing dentist time. Just to make sure I get up. Now, I'd likely fast this given I'm trying to get up there. But the green runs left to right. So I don't mind being on that left-hand side. And it should all kick off that wall. I've actually slowed it with a push. So this is going to work My out okay. Is, is it going to hold this little ball? This should come back down. No, just too Drive long. Down. Ended up in the rough. That's unlucky. Because you are really in no man's land up here. The minute I get this on the green, is running away from the pin. So we've got to just try and stop it beforehand because this is just going to keep rolling. This is going to limp biscuit all the way down there. That's a good, like that is a good nice effort from there, guys, because that should have kept going. Four footer. So take an opening birdie. Clearly, the 230 was too much club. Probably needed a 225. The 218, I wasn't convinced it would get there with my foot lie, but haven't seen how the 230 traveled. It maybe would have done. But got to be on your metal straight from the off there. Par 5 opener. It is reachable. And it looks like we have an elevation changes, which I do like. So the next is a par 4, 392 yards. Now, you've got landing areas. You can try and kick it up here. This all kicks right, and you'll likely be in this rough or that bunker. I'm going to play for this sliver down here again it all kicks right so i could be in the rough it's a risky shot well i feel like i've got enough control over my drive right now and this is going to kick right it's just how far right yeah it's going to be in the rough as i called well that won't work not sure that's the shot you want to play there maybe play up left side of those bunkers but um gonna be interesting so i think i'm gonna hit the the 93. I'm going to hit the 108. I just don't think it's getting there with a the 93. And there's a right decision to switch up. And that should kick on. And there's a lovely recovery from down there. And here we go for the birdie. And we start birdie birdie nice, nice. in the challenge circuit. That's your second birdie. As I always say to you guys, four to six under usually. Now, sometimes the courses are harder. Last week was a particularly harder course. 
sometimes they're easier, but four to six under normally has you at least making cuts Alrighty, and being semi-competitive in that. CCA to E, maybe. Below E, you probably don't need to score as low as that. I've not been down in those divisions. I've what not looked at the scoring down there. The third. Let's find out. So third par four, 460 yards, nice wide open fairway. Don't need to do any shaping Holy with this. Drive it straight down the middle. Boy. It won't that reach that bunker. Okay, Perfect shot. About 125 yards away. Leaving you one, two, five in. I have options here. It's 18 foot up, so I might play my one, my one, three, five, with a bit of loft. We've got a backstop there, so I don't mind being long here. A little bit of awkward feet, but a perfect swing. Ooh, can we get a kick to the left? Yeah, but awkward. Good that job, took it way more right green. than I was expecting there. We're on the green with 15 Let's feet, two inches here. down. Time to talk about the green speeds. They are 134. So the 10 to 134 sets you up with the marker further away. Um, so just be wary of that. You don't need to hit it as hard as it wants you to hit it. And also at these speeds, it tends to take more of the break when it slows down. So got to be careful here because this breaks right to left and then left to right. So it's got to be a good read. So this is going to turn it. It's going to push it. No, the, as I said, it broke closer to the hole there. The left to do is Didn't quite have the read on that one. It was a tricky little putt with the, the movement at my feet. Didn't Hands quite catch as much. Says, but we're two under through three. Right two under Opportunity missed there because that's a Stepping straightforward a par four. four hole on this one. Fourth, another par four. You want to really get it into these gullies up here. I'm going to loft it up a bit. A slight fast will bring it down into these little... Little gully, the Mulder and gully. Nice shot. Here's your second. And we got 67 yards in, so a little bit of loft on my, on my pitch. Maybe not that much. Oh, I didn't want to slow it though. That would keep it out right. I was expecting the fast there to account for my feet. This one's 10 feet. That slow away. just held me out to the right, but we have a 10 footer. Again, bringing the marker in a little bit. I always want you to blast these putts. Nice Perfect play. read. Uh, three under through four. Decent start. Par four, fifth up next. There's two par fives on the opening front nine. And after that one, you'll bring your score down to three under. So three under through four. Decent start. Let's see what we can do here on the fifth. Another wide open fairway. Again, I think I'm just going to play for the fairway. Bit of an awkward tee box here, guys. So it does look like the ball's going left at your feet. I don't like to see. It's enough fairway for you to hold it. Shot's about Just be wary of that tee out. box. I don't think it impacted me there, but same a little further right, just in case. So again, I'm between clubs. So I'm gonna have to deal off this because I don't want to hit the 164. Oh, that's a super slow. But thankfully, I pushed it left. That's going to leave a chip. Well, tried, just didn't quite hit this green. Wasn't a good this effort, that. Your third. So I changed my um, bag to have there. more options That's above 200 good. yards, guys, and left a gap now of nice. 20 yards Dropping between the 147 the and the 164. Well um, so it always caused me a few issues on a couple of holes, but I'm better off on way more still. of the par fives and other holes where you want to try and get the eagles. So we're three under through five. And again, it's all your choice. As the golfer, do you want? Hole. I used to keep 10 yards all the way up to 200 between all my clubs and then recently changed. So 122, up five. So playing well, 124 with the miles per hour wind, playing about 160. So I'm going to loft this up a bit, catch the wind, and hopefully with a clean strike, just sit around the nice. pin. That's a decent shot. Great job on that approach. Tricky pin. Man, could have a birdie here. Just landed in the wrong spot, really. Looking pretty good. It's a good read. I had to take my time with that one. Of the day. We're four under through six. And four under par with a par five up next. Nice looking course, though. Playing into a cemetery there, which you don't often see. Skyline time leading the ray right now. So it must be a British Legion thing. I would assume. Pretty cool. 
these designers are great and they don't really get to see much of it um on the playstation because we don't have the tools to do flyovers but that's pretty cool all right anyway let's not get distracted by the course so seventh wide open fairways up 50 feet so it's going to play a bit longer so we'll put a bit of shaping on this driver just to get a bit more distance out of it hopefully it kicks forward off this little hill 338 yard yeah, drive leaving us 193 in we got a 195 with the uphill and the wind this should be perfect if i can hit it perfect and we have hit it perfect so that is all about my read now it's going to kick left sadly off this little nodule but that is not a bad effort into this par five yeah, that's gonna work you're gonna love 10 footers for eagles an eight foot eight pot. foot for an eagle it's a beautiful strike Let's see if we can capitalize that's not gonna turn is it oh, no. <sighs> i thought i might have been giving that a bit too much respect it did try to dip but sadly we miss an eight foot for eagle you want to be making those certainly it's part of the part of my problem when i play up in platinum or any other division i play in i don't make enough eagles on the par fives it's something i've been trying to address but even when i give myself the opportunity within 10 feet there i miss it how often do you see me miss 10 foot putts so it's just one of those things i have a mental block i think to um eagle in par fives so this is 243 it's down 33 feet so it's playing around 230 around dentist time i'm gonna hit the 218 and hope it kicks off this hill so it can see if that works because 230 is going to be too long so let's see if we can get a kick and run up to to the pin really nice swing. now this should kick off the butt end of this hill and hopefully kick up to the left just kick straight and up oh and it nice stayed up there but that's the right that's the right play i aimed a little too far right i thought it was all running right to left as you can see it all is so somehow it just stayed its line which i wasn't expecting 22 footer though this is going to turn quite a bit and we're just just not a huge fan of one three fours and just not quite got the bead of these greens just yet the flat stick surprisingly well is letting us down where the rest of our play has been actually pretty solid. Move five under through eight. Take that. As I said, four Keep to six under a nine. Under. We're on track. If we can birdie the next, we're at the threshold of where we want to be. As I say every week, guys, ignore these people. Pesky peanut there, 15 under through 13. Like He's either Allard or Aiden and Gwyn. They're one of the top platinum players. So, short par four. Just play up into this open space on the left. No point trying to take on all those bunkers and take on the green here. This should just leave you a flop or a pitch in, depending pitch. on your distance. All right, let's have a good second shot here on the nine. Pitch perfect. That's a nice shot in. And yeah, it's a score. I feel it's a score. It's a more scoreable course this week than it was last week. That's good so far. As you've seen, I've missed and an eight footer for an eagle, for a couple of birdie putts, and we're six under through nine. Still, could have been better, okay. but it wasn't, and that's okay. As I say, though, you're spoiled for choice on these walkthrough now, guys. So thank you for sticking with me. If you are enjoying the content, please feel free to leave a like. Okay, it is free. Helps me out massively. Hole. Costs you nothing. And if you're new here and enjoy the content, please do subscribe. And if you play TC Tours, let me know how you're getting on. So 403 yards. So again, short par four, like but you can't hit it like that. We're going to be down in the dunes. That is an awful strike. Just want to play up onto that green up the head. Oh, I think we've stuck in the That's hedges too. Oh, we have. We didn't even make the sand dune. Stuff. This is awkward, folks. We have a backstop, but to catch that backstop from here is going to be a miracle shot. I'm going to play the 120. No, I'm going to play the 135. This was now, we good. should catch the backstop. And it should come back towards the pin. And I called the miracle shot was needed. And a miracle uh, shot was made. And that belt. is a beautiful shot from down there. Man, Just showing you, don't seven. panic. If you make a mistake like I did and didn't push the stick forward, you can recover. 
Was that actually water? All right, let's see what happens. Was I lucky to stick left. there? I thought that was sand. Oh crap. Okay, difficult part three here. I think I'm going to hit the 207. Do I hit the? T I'm going to hit the 218. I'm going to loft this up a bit and play the 218. This might be crazy. This might be long. I'm swinging so well at the minute, though. I feel like I can play these type of shots. Just a bit long. I approve. But I think that was the right choice. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Tricky birdie. How these boys are 13 or 14 under through 12 holes and stuff. I'll never know. As I say, I play in plat. But I don't play like them. This is going to curl. Again. Ah. Just not quite got the bead of these one three fours. So far, so good. But that's a tricky par three. I think you'd be happy to walk away with a par there, to be fair. It's a difficult shot. Pesky Peanuts 18 under through 16. Absolute joke. Name Eric 17 through 15. They are all top players, guys. I'm I'm at the 7 Eleven. See what happens here on the 12th hole. It's so consistent, my play, that I'll pretty much always be 7 under through 11. Now, this could actually make his way into the rough on that right hand side if the wind doesn't take me oh that is held that is held and you need to be here for this par oh this par five i'm gonna loft it up spin it let everything take me right to left here including my beautiful perfect swing look at that swing look at that swing line just 97 percent. if i hit that 100 percent, that was going dead at the pin it's not been bad though Look at you go. Next putt for Eagle. And we have another 12 foot go. Eagle Just putt now. So an eight and 12 footer. Can we make one? Eagle. Not been reading these greens, so it's time. It's time. It's staying up. It's not staying up. It catches the left edge. We get the Eagle we've been longing for. And off we pop. And you're sitting right there at nine under par. Nine under through 12. Decent shooting. As I said, I think there's going to be lower score in this week, guys. So I think you do need to be on the, the five to six under right, a nine in the top. We can do here on the 13th. The top channels with 94 foot nine under. So a very conveniently placed bunker at 400 yards. I think we can travel it. So I'm going to play down this right hand side, play a bit of a fast. I played a bit of a slow, but either way, should stick down this right hand side. That was good stuff. 92. I have a 93 in my bag, which has got to be absolutely perfect for this. Just need to hit it clean. A little fast, going to push me a little bit left, but yep. not over dramatically. Okay, good luck. Seven feet to go. Looking good. Boom. We're starting to read these greens. We're starting to cook now. 10 under through 13. Par 3, 14th up next. And you are currently 10 under par. Yeah, we've been playing pretty consistent golf of late. Um, so it is the major, obviously, in platinum this week. We'll see how I get on in that. I've kind of stop being competitive there so 192 down eight feet 189 with the six miles per hour and 183 this 179 is going to go way too long 164 don't think is long enough what is it to cover this mountain mm, probably one ooh, 175 with the mile per hour i don't know if this if i could cover this mountain i'd play this shot but i think i'm gonna have to loft up and spin the 79 here Gotta hit it clean, and that is a beautiful strike. So this is just all about whether I put enough loft and spin on it. I have been getting cleaner with my hitting. Good one. Um, I know I've been moaning about my swing line for a while, but I think I've adapted quite well of late. So I'm gonna let they put an extra lot of extra distance on this. So I'm gonna let that play out. So it shouldn't take too much of any of these breaks. Oh wow, that's gone way left. <laughs> Did not see any right to left break there at there all. Go. This one for par. So didn't Seems expect that for that would just move straight to be honest. And so misread by me or a ghost break. 
I'll leave that judgment up to you. Either or, it's a par, and I can't do anything about it. No point moaning. I just didn't see that breaking right to left. 20 under through 18. 19 through 18. <laughs> just madness. Just absolute madness. Long par four for this one. Okay. 465 yard par four. Nice wide open fairway up here. Doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna funnel down into this little area. Good shot. And this one's about 130. <laughs> one three, yards one three five in. With the wind, still the wind's not gonna take it that far, but we will loft it up and spin it just to make sure. Maybe not as much as I just put on it. It's more about what my feet do. Now that slow and awkward push is actually gonna help because it should kick left, left off this little module. Didn't kick as far left as I was hoping there. Well, that'll do for now. And again, this is all about what it does for the round, if you can at our feet. Part. I've got to get that right. It could be a good one. And that feels good. That's great. Birdie for you. Nice no, strike. Got to remember as well with those feet, even though it looks like it straightens up after, it still continues to turn, as you saw there. So I do have a putting video out there which talks you through all of that. Um, so check it out. Here's a it literally just talks through my thinking for putts because I don't have a strategy. I don't have a count beads crap that people do. 623 yards par five. We want to get as close to the face of that mountain as we can. You'll kick off this hill if you're right. So we're going to loft this up. I'm going to drive it down there. No, I didn't want to be that far left. Well, now they ain't going to kick out of there. The and that is just an awkward, awkward shot, shot from 16th. us. Messed that up completely. So I'm going to hit the 218 up over this hill. It should just kick out into this fairway, sadly. I don't think you can go with it anyway. It's certainly going to be a difficult shot. shot with that giant mound in front of you to take a wood at that green. So maybe this is the play. 93, two foot up, a little bit of loft. And just hit it clean. That's a little little butt out oh, swing, God. little twerky swing as I call them, which pushed me right there. Under with this I've been trying to fix that. I think I've done a good job. But this should take Let's the break the left hole. to right. Beautiful putt. Now that was a golf shot. And we're 12 under through 16. Don't think that's a missed opportunity there. Don't think you can. It's going to be different. Even if you got it in the fairway, you've got to take a wood up over that giant mound in front of you. So you'd have to loft it. Don't know possible we'll never know let me know how you get on no one at home 12 under through 16. Team solid good solid purple. consistent round will have you competing now this one i think i'm going to play this left hand side i don't know if you can cover this i know a lot of the top players will have the driver to get over that i feel like i would just kick right into this bunker knowing me so i'm going to play down this left hand side here oh this well i'm going to be sliced. up in this hill anyway as that is not, not the drive. Again, Second you may have noticed, guys, I've talked about it in a few videos now. That is happening to me on a regular basis. I am losing. Oh, that's not getting over there. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to lay up here. I'm losing a lot of. Um, All right, Pat, swings like that. So that was a normal swing together. and it just goes Show dead slow. It's happened to me multiple times i'm not imagining it watch any of my videos you'll see it don't know if my controller is just glitching but it's happened too many times for it to be this is potentially a one-off and it does derail you around sometimes okay. but i can't do anything about it can't anticipate them my normal swing just all of a sudden goes black slow Okay, 12 under through 17. Decent. I think if you're around that, you're going to be okay. I think 13, 14 under. Look, we're 45, so you can see there's people scoring. Long par 4 finish. So, swing up. Fairways are easy enough to hit. It's now all about the approach shot. Awkward feet I've left myself here. I'm going to play the 179 in. I was hoping for a fast there got the slow it sent me out to the right yeah, we'll have that. Here and we, we have 29 feet a 29 the... footer for a birdie on the 18th
Let's see what we can do. It's going to stop turning in it. Oh. <laughs> Story of my day. Quite a few missed putts. Lovely little corner shop and fish and chip showing the quintessential English lifestyle that we lead down here because obviously we all eat fish and chips every evening of the week for my American brethren. If you didn't know, that's what we do. <laughs> it's not what we do. There we go. 12 under, guys. T45. But don't forget, these are all plat players who play in different leagues or pro team players who play in a, a tournament and they use the challenge circuit for that. But for you Challenge Circuit boys, I think 12 under is going to be a good score for you. I think 14, 15 or 16 under, you're going to be at the top of the league. But there we are. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a fabulous week. Get out there, smash TDC tours. Let me know how you get on. Peace out. Love you all.